imagine if you will, though this is very fearful for you to do, that you are at every junior high school across America, and perhaps even in some other countries. Who knows? I don't. And this is the conversation that you may hear at the locker of a random 13-year-old girl. Oh my god, Sarah, did you hear that the new Justin Bieber song is out? Why, yes, I did! Oh my god, he's so cute! He's my boyfriend! I want to be his boyfriend! No, I want to be his boyfriend, Sarah. No, he's mine, bitch! No, he's mine, you stupid tramp slut whore motherfucker! Oh yeah? Well, he's gonna be mine because I'm cuter and you're fat and all you have is your boobs and a big ass and fat rolls and fuck you, Nancy! Yeah, Justin Bieber boyfriend. Let's talk about this. Why are we talking about this? Because we can. Because Justin Bieber, of course, who I've deemed as just another media puppet last year, who I've made parody videos about that have been taken down because they were too damaging to his name, he's coming out with a new album here in a couple of weeks. And it's going to be called Believe. And you know what? Here's the thing. I'm going to come clean with you guys right now. I really am. There's a lot of people out there that are like, well, you know what? You're making fun of Bieber because you wish you were him. You wish you had his money. You wish you had the women. You wish you had all of this stuff. The fame, the fortune. You're just a lowly guy on YouTube talking about music in a place that looks like your basement whenever it really is. But here's the thing. I don't have, I don't harbor true feelings of murder towards Justin Bieber. No. Dude's just trying to make it in this business. I'd have true feelings and harbor of a murder from Usher for signing him and for the media for embracing him. But Justin himself? Nah. He's just some little dude with a ridiculous haircut that's caught on and will be in hairstylist playbooks all across America if it's not already. And the, the kid is honestly not the problem. It's the hype around him. It's the way in which, you know, Culture has embraced him. Anyways, let's talk about the song. I am trying so hard not to talk about the song because the very first thing I want to talk about is the fact that Justin Bieber, apparently, after turning 18 years old, has decided, well, fuck it, I might as well try to be the next Justin Timberlake. And he's trying to very, very hard on this song. He's doing that kind of like sing-rapping where it's almost like talking, but at the same time he's singing a little bit. It's kind of becoming a little bit of a craze... Uh, uh, in the rap scene, but now it's happening, it's infecting pop as well, and it, he's doing that with the, uh, the verses and then the chorus, of course, he's employing a lot of highs, a higher register for him, which uh, is really what causes me to draw the Justin Timberlake uh, persona, and if that's not enough, then the music that surrounds it seems perfectly apt for the former member of NSYNC. Uh, just the whole entire package deal seems like he is trying to take a step out of... Uh, uh, Justin Timberlake's Justified, or even more so on uh, Future Sex Love Songs, where uh, the, uh, the he kind of went away from what made him big in the boy bands and kind of did his own thing and tried to invent almost like sex pop, or, you know, like a, a very seductive form of pop music where, you know, you could dance to it, you could really enjoy it, but at the same time, it was very still seductive. It was something where it, it almost sounded like someone, he was trying to make love to the girl's ear, which now reminds me of that Family Guy episode. But in this particular case, it really doesn't work as well. And I think the main reason is because the beat is just a little bit too simplistic. There's not really enough going on. And as much as Justin Bieber tries, he is not Justin Timberlake. He doesn't carry the same charisma. He doesn't have the same, I guess, savoir faire that a guy like Justin Timberlake is able to really carry. And that's something that, of course, for Timberlake came from experience and from developing his own persona. I feel like... I feel like Biebs is kind of in an identity crisis right now, where he's trying out a couple of different things. I mean, he was in a song that was kind of rappy with Jaden Pickens Smith, or not Jaden Smith, whatever the fuck name is it, I don't know. One of the Smiths. One of the Agent Smiths. No, this isn't the Matrix. And now he's doing this, like, Justin Timberlake type thing, whereas before he was just baby, baby, babying his way into the, pansy, uh, the panties of every 14-year-old across America. And including some 8-year-old boys. I don't know. It's weird. It's kind of like pedophilia, only via music. This, uh, th this video and this song could actually be used as systematic torture. It's not as bad as some of the other stuff that I've heard from Bieber and I've been forced to listen to thanks to where I work. Uh, however, it is still nowhere near a step in the right direction, and I find this to be ridiculous. This is insane. I will probably review the entire album, 
uh, I have plans to review the entire album. However, if that review doesn't happen because I've blown my brains out, well, don't be surprised. And please send somebody to clean up this place because I will start to smell. Justin Bieber, I really wish that you would stop making music, but I understand why you don't. Because you like it. You do it for the music, you do it for the fame, for the chicks, for the fortune, for Selena Gomez's tits. Whatever. But, um, no. I, get your own identity. Do something different. If, if you did something different uh, that really stimulated the pop scene, then maybe I would give two shits. But I don't, because it's the same fucking thing I hear with everybody else. The only difference is that you're pint-sized, whereas they're a little bit bigger-sized. And we're not going to use metric rules, because fuck that. So yeah, you are basically one step above Kids Bop right now, and uh, that's pretty low. Which also means that you're one step above Punk Goes Pop, but um, yeah, I'll leave that for your imagination. Justin Bieber, boyfriend, no, 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 zero out of ten, fuck you, kill yourself, bye.